Hi, today we're gonna make this carne pizzaiola. Very delicious, it's one of my favorite meat that my grandma used to make. So stay tuned. Mm. Yes, stay tuned because before it's finished, <laughs> I'll see you after. Let's cook it together. Ciao. Buonissima. Ciao! Hello everyone! Today we're gonna make carne pizzaiola. It's like pizza, but carne, which is meat. Um, yes, come and follow me and I'll show you. So the ingredient for this meat is very easy. Uh, obviously, filet mignon, that's what I like. It. I'm gonna boil a little bit, I'm gonna cook a little bit, like 15 minutes, so actually 20 minutes, this uh, tomato sauce. So let's start. Um, I'm gonna fry a little bit of onion with tomato sauce, which will take about 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna add the meat in it. So let's have this cooked already very gently fried the onion like a little onion like a um, tablespoon of onion then you can add a little bit of sauce and meantime while that cooks well I'm gonna add a little bit of salt on the sauce because and a little bit of sugar a pinch of sugar so I'm gonna make this like for two people portion for two and I like to slide the fillet really like thin. I don't like really thick <laughs> because it cooks faster and you can eat faster. So I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna slide it this way, okay? Or this is another trick that you can do. Put your hands here, but be careful. Actually, you shouldn't do this way. <laughs> That's a butcher kind of uh, trick. <laughs> okay. But anyways, let's avoid dangerous move in here. The, the slide like a little bit thin, not like this thick junk of uh, meat. So that's how I like it anyways. I'm gonna cut it my way because I really like this way. <laughs> because at one point I don't ever really have a choice, do I? So, okay, this table here turns around. So I'm gonna have to wait 20 minutes until the sauce cooks a little bit good and it becomes a little bit dry and uh, you know more tasty otherwise it doesn't taste much. It's optional at the end to add the little olives, black olives and mozzarella on top. Some people like it, some people don't. And then I do capers also and a lot of oregano, okay? A lot of oregano means like maybe one tablespoon of oregano for two uh, people, this, this much of meat. Okay, so we've been cooking this uh, sauce just for about 20 minutes and now I'm gonna put the meat in it, okay? And I'm gonna let it cook, you know, depends how you want it, probably another five minutes probably. Okay, so just uh, on the top like that. This type of meat, this carne pizzaiola, my grandma was making it at night for us after my grandpa was coming back from work. So it was very nice and delicious. So I'm gonna add a lot of uh, oregano, okay? Because that's how we like it. So I'm gonna add a little more oregano. Like I said before, the olives is up to you and the capers is up to you. But, and then I'm gonna turn it around. Then I'm gonna higher the fire, higher the fire. Whenever I see it's cooked, this is my timing. <laughs> Whenever I see it's cooked, then I say it's ready. <laughs> but yeah, so if you want a rare, 
two minutes. So that's it, that's it. That's very simple, another plate, very simple. I'm gonna add more oregano, just to make it really tasty. So now I'm gonna cut mozzarella and slider thin, and I'm gonna add on top of it, just because I like it this way, but it's up to you, it's optional. So and then, it's also optional olives, but I really like the olives and mozzarella and oregano. And again, it's optional to add um, the capers, which I will do it a little bit, a little bit. So, a little bit of that on here, and then I'll add mozzarella somehow. See? And then, a little bit of olives, and if you don't mind, I add more oregano on top of the mozzarella. <laughs> so it looks like pizza, huh? Yeah, that's what it should look. I do uh, want to add, I have to say, a little bit of capers. So I'm going to put the capers here, not with the juice, just not juice. A very tiny bit. And yeah, just to give it a little bit of taste and texture. And so the meat is pretty ready. It's been probably five minutes really. So I'm gonna let it melt. And if you put the top, the mozzarella will melt and it will taste really good. So that's my meat for now. Let's wait two minutes and plate and this, this dish will be really ready. It's very good. Okay, here we are. We made this meat pizzaiola like my grandma used to make and I'm gonna try it because it tastes so good guys and it takes really little fast, fast to make it. <laughs> very good. Mm, I think it's delicious. It's the best meat ever. So have fun to make it, watch the video and subscribe. Bye.